Did you know that digging holes at the beach can be extremely dangerous or even deadly? New Jersey's beaches just had a fatality. A boy from Maine on vacation was visiting and lost his life. And that is a very unfortunate thing. We want everybody to understand that digging holes is okay. It's a fun pastime for America's beaches. We want you to do it safely. No deeper than knee deep is a safe way to dig a hole and have a good time. The towns have spent a great deal of time and effort making the beaches safe for beachgoers. This is kind of a little bit of a new thing because suddenly we're talking about the beach go goers helping us keep the beaches safe for each other and us as well. The dangers to people digging holes are as they're digging it, as they're getting in and out of it, cave-ins, depending on the size of the person, the depth of the hole, it might involve airway, life management, or it just might be a crush injury that still can be quite grave especially considering they've been out here all day long, they've been exerting themselves digging this hole. You're gonna have cave-ins, you're gonna have basically a, a landslide, and then you're also gonna have flooding, you know, as swells come in. The impacts of digging holes and leaving them unfilled on the beach reach much farther than the general public. They also affect first responders, those patrolling the beach, and endangered wildlife. This is especially true for lifeguards on ATVs. They're out there every day from 10 to 6, and they're patrolling up and down the beach. And anybody who's worked the beach at some point in time has hit a hole, and when we do so, our heart stops for a moment. Because one of the first question we always ask ourselves is somebody in that hole? And luckily, knock on wood, it wasn't. But in that same token, what is the damage I've done to my vehicle? Some of these holes, when I talk about it, you probably get a vision of this child out there, this nice bevel to build a sandcastle. Some of these holes are large enough that I would actually sink my front front of my truck in and be a catastrophic failure, no different than any crash, and I could be actually incapacitated as well as the truck and vehicle. Just one other issue that holes present, not only to humans, but to brief talk about the wildlife dangers. Uh, during the summer months, we have five different types of sea turtles that nest here in North Carolina. Um, all those sea turtles are protected by state and federal laws and all of them are either on the threatened or endangered list. Um, and those holes can present dangers where those turtles coming up to nest can fall in the holes, get trapped, and potentially have fatal outcomes for the sea turtles. How can you help us? Children are entrusting adults to take care of them. We want you as adults to supervise children and young adults when they're digging holes. If you see an unsafe situation on the beach, who do you call? Here in this county, we'd like you to call Dare Central Communications. That number is 252-473-3444. This is if you see somebody in distress in the water. This is if you see somebody that maybe dove in the water. This is also if you see a, a collapse hazard, a hole that is greater than knee depth, maybe up to chest deep with children playing in it, with young adults playing in it. This can be life-threatening and was life-threatening recently. So we ask all individuals have a good time on the beach but be responsible, uh, leave the beach with only footprints, and uh, always fill in. After you dig it, it's always easier to fill in. Our ultimate goal is for anybody that is coming out to visit one of our beaches to have a safe and enjoyable day. We encourage everyone to stop and check in with your local lifeguards to visit lovethebeachrespecttotheocean.com for information on um, holes and rip currents and any other beach safety hazards that are out there. You can sign up to receive text alerts on daily beach conditions by texting OBX beach conditions to 77295.